let's start a new chat. Uh, let's start with index HTML. This is for reference only do not generate any code so it will need uh, HTML um, it will also need the um, JSON uh, JavaScript can with the same with the same line uh, also format document so white adding two spaces but okay I assume it knows what it's doing Pretty sure it wasn't doing this before, but uh, never mind. And this is again reference only. Do not generate any code. Initial plot. Posted web page. It's the data generator. Key elements. Yes. Plotly graphic jQuery. Custom CSS, next step, styling, JavaScript, server-side logic, testing, optimization, responsiveness. Yeah, we do want to do all these things. JavaScript, observation, clear structure. Yes, well, because you made it, so obviously it will be clear and well-structured for you. Enhance error handling to have error logging, implement logging, validation. Right, this is actually well, we can actually limit the input instead of doing validation. There's a few things. A scale the page to fit the all green actually well we don't need that many methods using flex box so JavaScript um, can we using uh, using flex box we want to generate the whole styles CSS Actually, can we also have a color, a color scheme? Color scheme. Do we have a color scheme? Yes, we do. We have a color palette. Let's find that use the following color variables generate the whole CSS right it's using those same um, color variables in CSS you can have variables well, hopefully we'll just use them throughout. Right. Whoa. This looks much better, doesn't it?
the labels are accurate except the first and the last one there right another thing is this uh, I'm actually getting quite so this will be duration of 10 seconds and that is correct we're also writing this uh, blog on how digital filtering of ECG signals can cause misdiagnosis um, using this plugin that actually searches Google Scholar, so it's actually giving you legit um, articles that actually work, not like um, um, BAD or a regular ChatGPT that uh, makes makes up uh, articles. Um, it gave us a summary, but yes, in the conclusion, this is important. That there is actually lack of explicit discussion on how this filtering technique could potentially lead to misdiagnosis. So I don't know um, why no one is discussing it. Maybe should show. Um, you should potentially look for some clinical journals. Um, so look at clinical literature can't spell or oh, discussion on how how ECG um, data processing and filtering potentially lead to misdiagnosis let's see if it actually can do that or not right so it's using that scholar yeah we'll just let it work let it do its job uh, in the meantime right so we did that the window is now scaling um, scale the page um sampling rate let's check the sampling rate and select that yes sampling rate is selected so that's okay make sure the chart loads the levels when loading page let's double check that to control f5 as well that's working okay the legend right legend is not pretty sure it already did it but let's do this again doesn't repeat the labels you should modify the javascript trace has already been added so in uh, javascript is it generating the whole generating the whole javascript or just the changes i don't know um edit peaks so what's up with this a uh, keep track of edit peaks Mm, okay I get what it's trying to do so once they for each point Q okay const um, okay it's quite different I mean as soon as it doing everything else correctly I don't mind doesn't look like this is uh, 
a hundred lines of code. Yeah, it's only 83. So what was removed from my document, it's still 110. Uh, what was removed from the document? I mean, we can try it out. Can delete this one. Make a copy. Okay, so the thing is still working. Okay, I don't think it's duration. What on earth? That's working okay, but surely a removed other stuff. What wasn't clear about? Okay, fix the legend. And and generate a whole JavaScript code with all required parts, including code that haven't changed. So we want to keep the original code. I don't know why you're changing it for me. The original code had 110 lines. So the legend issue was fixed by adding a name attribute only to the first trace of each peak type. Show legend plot ECG. This looks more like it. Yeah, we want to prevent when you using the scroller right getting an error there if it uh, did anything found additional papers that discuss the CG data processing and filtering techniques A signal to noise ratio and mean square error improving algorithm based on Newton filters measure. Yeah, this is not a clinical paper, small intelligent. Same printer. What did I ask for? Look for clinical literature for discussion on how ECG data processing and filtering techniques could potentially lead to misdiagnosis. Uh, did you find anything on misdiagnosis? Yes, do not directly address the potential misdiagnosis. To know that's uh, could be an interesting thing of itself is that the uh, engineering uh, papers do not talk about misdiagnosis. I mean, yeah. We'll be talking about all sorts of problems. You can reduce accuracy for selecting informative components of the signal. The algorithms are shown to improve the quality of EEG, ECG signal filtering. Implementation of adaptive uh, based uh, chip architecture. Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, technical stuff. I don't know why it's. Uh, 
different order this should be a p q r s t p the order so fixing the legend worked the legend order should be E Q R S T P Q R S T. Uh, let's see. It should be a simple fix, but we still want GPT to do this for us because I don't want to be coding anything at all. I don't know Python or JavaScript. So it's generating the whole thing for me, is it? Yeah, I mean, if it's writing this fast, I would not be able to integrate this fast. Question, the problem is, yeah, we have 109 lines, so in theory, this change um, should result in the same number of lines or more. Okay. There is more. More is better than less. I mean, you know what I mean. The other reason for not making any manual changes is that um, when I do ask it to generate the whole code, it will not have this bit. So it will, um, if I edit manually, then we'll get uh, removed is the, if the bot doesn't know anything about it. Yes, so if I, uh, yeah, this kind of weird double clicky thing, if I do, yeah, if I do a single click, it just removes the ECG, and I think that's what it's going to do, uh, which is not what I wanted. Label from the legend by saying show legend property of the ECG trace to false. Yeah, it's now generating the whole the whole lot 116 right B Q R S T. You didn't just change the color. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. It will stuff things up. So we actually have to mention it at here, which is probably good practice anyway, because uh, we'll have a list of uh, requirements and it is kind of important so we want um be big in red q in um, purple is okay R in black the reason being is because it stands out already S in um, Blue T in green. I'm surprised I'm not yet exceeding the 50 prompts per three hour limit. I used to hit that uh, limit 
all the time. Changing the color, attribute inside the marker, property of each specific. And it's doing this for me, which is great. 